Hello everyone, Edge here with the uh, ViewSonic G Tab. I've uh, changed my wallpaper to a uh, to a uh, B Boy wallpaper. I know it's really, really busy, and uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but um, I like it. It's um, it looks kind of eight bit. Uh, reminds me of uh, playing playing the old uh, Atari Twenty Six Hundred and um, original Nintendo games. They were all blocky like that. It's kind of that look, and to me, it's kind of a retro thing. So anyway, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments. I really, really appreciate them. It's really cool to see all the uh, people getting some use and enjoyment out of my videos. That that makes me uh, motivated to do more and to uh, answer your questions. So one of the first questions I have um, was, how did I make this look this way? Um, basically, uh, all I did was I installed Clockwork Mod, which the instructions are on xda-developer.com. Really good instructions on how to flash your your G tab to put Clockwork Mod on there, and then I applied uh, starting with the very first uh, TNT 1.00, 1.01, then uh, 2.0, 2.01, 0.203, and 2.1, and now I'm on 2.2 TNT Lite 2.20. Now, in terms of uh, how the why the screen looks the way it does. I put in ADW launcher, very similar to the launcher that uh, Rothnik, I'm sorry, that Robeat puts into uh, TNT Lite. Uh, just a few differences. I think it's a lot more customizable. I prefer ADW launcher, and and fortunately Android lets you do that. So I'm using ADW launcher. Uh, very customizable and how the the drawer acts. I like it to go uh, vertical. Some people like it to go horizontal. There are settings where you could change that. Uh, you can change how many columns, how many rows, and so forth. And that's one of the things I did here on my my home screen is, as a lot of you know, the default is 4x4. Four four and, and, and on a screen this size, that's sort of ridiculous. So um, I've made it to where it displays seven columns and six rows because 90% of the time I'm using my tablet uh, in in this landscape mode. In terms of widgets... Uh, most of you who are interested in this tablet uh, probably have used or probably own a smartphone that's uh, running Android. So you know that by pushing or touching the uh, home screen, you get the choice of what you want to add to the home screen. You can add widgets, shortcuts, or wallpapers. And so adding a wallpaper is super easy because, you know, you just go to the gallery and you can pick whatever picture you want to. Um, I've got a wallpapers folder where I've got certain wallpapers. A lot of you have seen uh, in my uh, other videos um, this wallpaper which I really like. So uh, to, to select a wallpaper you do just exactly what I did here. You say you know you size it, choose which you know how you want it to be centered and you hit save. And we'll do that now. I'm cool with that. And there you go. And now we're back to that wallpaper that uh, most of you are used to seeing on my G tab. And it's quite frankly, it is a, it does make everything a little more visible. So we'll leave it like that for this video, and probably for my subsequent videos. And I'll go back to my my B boy wallpaper when uh, when I'm using it, what I normally do. And I really don't know what's going on here. Is so I'll power it off, and we'll power it back on again. So you get to see how fast this thing turns off and turns back on again. It's not immediate because it is a Linux system. You know, Android is Linux, so it takes a bit of time. It's doing its cleanups and shutting down certain things, and now it's off. And immediately once it's off, we can turn it back on again. And uh, as you'll see, it's it's pretty quick. Uh, while we're waiting, let's adjust the screen here a little bit. All right. Now, she works as uh, um, these little startup images. Apparently, there are instructions on xda-developer.com where you can actually change what displays there, so you can customize it as much as you want. All right, so as you saw, I mean, it comes up pretty quickly. I just shut it down and started it back up, and you know, it's loading all its widgets up and doing its thing and scanning tablet storage. This is all standard, you know, getting everything going. Um, activity that Linux does. Although running on this Tegra, 
uh, and you know running Android as they keep getting more and more efficient and getting faster and better, it's uh, it's pretty quick. The widget there, I don't know why that widget takes the amount of time it takes. Who knows? So, all right, back in uh, ES File Explorer, let's take a look at movies and go back to this uh, Born Ultimatum. Now this time we're going to watch it with the regular video player. I'm going to try to zoom in a bit so you can see, or maybe see, I don't know. So I don't know if that helped any at all. Um, it is pretty darn sharp. Um, now the crazy part is this is a 1080p video and it looks very nice on here. I tried to download a seven, a 720p video, a Serenity um, trailer, and it wouldn't play. I mean, it was choppy and the video and and audio didn't sync up. This here, 1080p, is phenomenal. The 720p video, for whatever reason, there were, there's a slight difference. And the only difference that I can see between the two videos is that the Serenity at 720p is a CE high profile, uh, whereas the Born Ultimatum is a CE baseline profile. So there must be some difference between the high profile and the baseline profile that allows uh, the 1080p to run and look better than the 720. I mean, it's the opposite of what I would have personally expected. I would have expected the... Uh, the, the 720 to play and the 1080 to choke, but apparently um, not the case. So when it comes to video, um, it, it, the device can play it. It does play it, and it's beautiful. Um, I have seen better screens out there, I will be honest. Um, you know, this this device, which I, as you know, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I, I really am a huge fan of the G tablet. It's, it's a beautiful device. It runs magnificently. For me, the videos are great. Um, I like the quality. However, there are better screens out there. Okay. Um, I'll just be honest about that. Does that take away from the device for me? Not at all. And, uh, I have, I'm not kidding when I say I've probably watched eight or nine full-length movies on this screen because I travel for business. And um, as soon as they tell me that uh, portable electronics are uh, are authorized, I pull this thing out and I turn on a movie and put on the headphones and watch the entire thing. Um, I've watched multiple movies on it and I've had no problems with it. And I think it's uh, the screen is now, just great. I have had questions about uh, the browser and Flash. Uh, more specifically about Dolphin HD. So I did go ahead and load Dolphin HD. As you may notice, I've actually went and started using it as my default browser uh, because it is pretty awesome. What are some of the awesome things about it? Well, first of all, tabs. Okay, the other browser can, can do that too. However, what makes it really cool for me is the fact that I can scroll to the side and now it's full screen. And I can scroll the other direction and I've got all my... Uh, um, bookmarks here. Sorry, my brain's not working. It's Sunday. Now, if I want to go back to regular view so I can have my address bar here, it's still there. And I can still scroll to the other side and still have my bookmarks here. So that's all well and good. Uh, go into a site like the New York Times, which is quite flash heavy. We'll go full screen on it while we're there. So there we go. All right. So I was looking at the New York Times earlier today. I've never never really been to the site, but I found that it's actually pretty nice. It's a nice site. So here, this little flash thingy just loaded up there on the screen. Uh, first of all, the images that display on, on the New York Times are very high resolution, so they really look good. A lot of websites use... Uh, their, their images aren't quite as nice. For whatever reason, the New York Times, their stuff shows up so incredibly sharp. I mean, when you look at the little the little uh, images there um, 
and I have to put my glasses on because my my eyes are not so great anymore. But like the detail on the flowers in these tiny little pictures are just amazing. And a lot of other sites, for whatever reason, their images just aren't as awesome. Uh, the video that's that's uh, that they've got embedded in here, they work really well, um, even on full screen. Turn around, sir. So you know you can just go in there and full screen it. So yeah, a little bit pixelated here, but uh, that's only because the video is low resolution. But again, you know, this is just taken from a web website, the little Flash app, and all I did was uh, expand it. Their their Flash controls work really well on their site, better than a lot of them, I'll, I'll be honest. So the New York Times is really on the ball. Um, Scrolls very nicely. And if I want to go to my bookmarks, we'll go here on the left. We'll go to Yahoo. And you see how fast these things load up? I mean, Dolphin HD is phenomenal. It's really, it's really a fast uh, browser. Uh, plays web stuff just brilliantly. Something I have noticed. And let me go uh, if I can get my hand on here well enough. Let's go to YouTube. They have some really great videos uh, that were great for demoing this. I just can't seem to find it right now, which is too bad. Maybe if I go to the uh, address bar. Or maybe this might be good. Let's take a look. Yeah, 480p. Okay. So this is pretty decent. I mean, it shows, you know, fairly, um, fairly sharp. The colors are good. It's not nearly as sharp as that 1080p video I was looking at just a few moments ago um, when I looked at that trailer for the Born Ultimatum. But you know this this is is good and this is as good as you'll get right now on uh, YouTube. The problem being that you're just not able to select a higher a higher setting. You can't choose 720 or 1080. It just won't let you the way that they have their flash set up. I wish that there was a, a way to view it sharper, but the other things to remember is, one, when it comes to speed, the the lower the resolution, the faster it'll load, so you don't have any buffering or any problems there. And second, you know, really, when it comes to viewing the vast majority of what you're going to need to do, 480p is good. It's really good. Now, if I'm watching a, 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 long, a longer movie or something, fortunately, uh, something like we go here, to, I've got Zombieland. Uh, Zombieland here is actually in uh, 720, and it's uh, it's pretty sharp. It's re it's it looks really good. Um, I don't know how you can see on the screen how nice it looks on here. It's kind of hard to video a screen to show how sharp and good something looks, but it actually is really nice quality. And uh, this is one of the movies I've watched on the airplane. It looks really great. All right. So anyway, um, that's that's video, and that's the uh, browser. So there we go. Edge out.